Hey, yo. <clears throat> Whoa, something in my throat. I think it's uh, whiskey. Okay, that's a lie. I know, I know it's whiskey. Um, Dragon Force reaction. Herman Lee reacts to the dude playing guitar on an Omegle. I think it's the first time I've ever said Omegle right. It's Omegle, isn't it? Um, yeah. So <laughs> one thing I like about a bat. This is weird because I don't know if I feel this way about like cars or houses or anything like that. But the fact that uh, Herman is holding a guitar that's probably between three and five thousand dollars. I'm guessing. And then there's also an arsenal of guitars behind him on both sides of the screen. It's like, whew, ah, dude, that's pretty sick. It's this thing, it's this weird thing. I don't know, This is I'm addressing guitarists out there because I think guitarists feel this way. If you had that one rich friend growing up who like, he's like, I'm gonna, you know, I think I'm gonna learn guitar and his first guitar is $2,000. And he's like, I don't like this one that, that much. And he buys another one for like 3,000. And you're like, I hate you. I can't, like, I hate you. Like, I'm not gonna tell you that I hate you, but I hate you. Like you can't play guitar at all. And you already have like $10,000 of guitar, guitar uh, $10,000 of gear. And uh, it's only been like four weeks. And I kind of hate you. Anyways, I'm excited about this because the dude is awesome. I've only seen him three times, but it's one of the, he's do great guitarists when it's guitar, when it's mano a mano. I think that's how that phrase works. When someone plays three fucking notes on a guitar, you're, you're like, oh, the dude shreds, Herman shreds. Yeah, okay, yeah, they all shred, but it's not about the shredding. It's like when they play three notes, you're like, oh, this this guy, this dude's fucking good. So I'm excited to see like a dude who's really good with another guy who's really good. And me, a guy with the, I think it's blue. I hope, hopefully it comes off as blue hair. And I'm just, you know, it's an exception level event. Reaction to reaction. Did I mention whiskey works? It does. Let's go. With you guys around, all these requests asking me to watch this video. Let's look at this, the do video that I don't know how many messages I got. A lot of them. Just listen, see what it's about. Oh, I love that Hello Kitty. It's oh, thank you. Good. Well, can I play I love that Hello song Kitty that I know guitar too. Play? I kind of just totally. started playing. Yeah. Definitely. You'll definitely skip me though. Everybody skips me when I start playing. No, 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 no. Shut, shut up. Play. Oh. <laughs> I actually can't really remember how it goes. It's okay, I mean, don't worry. You're that so is, encouraging, that, you're so nice. Okay. That is a guitar like, to get girls on. Well, I need one of those guitars. Or I needed one when I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's awesome. awesome. I mean, Didn't you do one with you practice enough, you could actually get really good at it. Oh, wait a minute, no, I, I remember how it goes. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's that uh, Eugene's trick bag. Cool. He's playing the Steve Vai some from Crossroads now. Yes, Herman nailed it too. It is Eugene's trick bag from uh, Crossroads. But I think that actual excerpt is based on Paganini, uh, a violinist who is so good that everyone... It's cheesy now, but it's like 100 years ago. 130 years ago? Like, yeah, Paganini was so good at guitar. Uh, guitar. He was actually really phenomenal at guitar. He wrote guitar, violin, duos. But I said the wrong thing. He was so good at violin that people were like, oh, this guy from the devil, Paganini. If you've never heard Paganini violin stuff, you might hate it, but mind blowing for the time period. <laughs> Is this trolling? Is it trolling girls online? When I was playing stuff like yeah, that, something like that. When I was young, playing stuff like that, <laughs> it didn't work for me at all. <laughs> That's facts. That's facts. When you when you would play some like super fast shit, um, I grew up playing fast shit in the '90s, late '90s, early 2000s. No, you only played for dudes. 
the girls didn't care. You played for guys who played guitar, and they were like, dude, you're dope. And you're like, yeah, thanks, man. And then nothing, nothing would happen. Nothing. It's like, do you want to be in a, you want to work on something? No, no, that was dope, though. No girls cared about it. No girls cared about me playing solo. They said, I want to hear Nirvana. <laughs> what do you mean? What? What? Oh, that's the best guitar. You mean I, I want a Hello Kitty. Hello What's wrong with this? It's if there's a Hello Kitty baby. guitar for me, I'll Wait, play on stream. We'll boy. play the whole Dragon Force album on Hello Kitty <laughs> guitar. <laughs> yeah, have one. yeah, laugh at it. Laugh at my first guitar. I swear to God. <laughs> I like this guy. He's funny. <laughs> oh God, that was loud. I'm sorry, that was for the last, last person. Give me a heart attack. Hi. Can you play something? I could try. Can you I, play I mean, something? I just kind of started playing, so I'm not really that you good. You know, hot cuff buns. <laughs> I might play some K Mac one, solos. Actually. That's so what I you need to do. Like... Not everyone can play K Mac solo. I still love the fact that he knows hot cross buns off the top of his head. I said that in my reaction video because I think the only reason you know hot cross buns is either you grew up playing some other instrument or you taught people. That's it. There's no reason for you to know hot cross buns, which is really hot cross buns is really the phrasing of the uh, phrase. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. It's like this thing where they try to make the name of the. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for that. That's too. You're that's welcome. too. Right, that's well, too well play played this anyway. Other nursery rhyme that I know. I'm probably gonna butcher this, so I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm really nervous about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is so good? <laughs> I butchered this. <laughs> you made him play hot stuff. <laughs> no way. Is that real? <laughs> That's... That... That Wait, awesome. that is the best that. version I've ever seen played live. That was really good. Like, so, oh, thank you. That's the so best much. version I've ever oh, seen played live of that solo. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of these I mean, was this done. solo played live in my life. So this is the secret that I think people don't know about guitarists. I think they don't know because there's so much shit talking. Is we actually always want to see someone awesome. Always. Like, we just, there's not like, it's not like jealousy. Like, oh, this guy's good. It's like, no, you always want to see something good executed well. And then you're like, well, fucking, fucking A, man. Like, you fucking nailed that. Cool. Alive. How are you dying? Probably oh, more than anyone else okay, in the world oh, have I seen that so solo right. being played or Thank actually you. playing it. You want me to do this one, don't you? <laughs> That's what you want. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what's you know the funniest thing about this? <laughs> Harder, my friend. Is Harder, I definitely have not I have played guitar solos on stage. Like your parents were murdered in front where girls actually just carry on looking at a singer. Is that I Well yeah, because if there's a singer, he knows this. This is this is the truth about a guitarist. It does not matter how good you get. They always, always are looking at the singer. There's a clear pecking order. It's singer, lead guitarist, rhythm guitarist, and then depending on the band, it's kind of a toss up between bass player and drummer. But a lot of times, so, I'm sorry, bassist. If you're not like a slapper, a lot of times it's the, uh, it's the drummer. I don't care about this, and he's oh, able to turn it around. You. I need to take some lessons from the dude. I can, yeah. I'm playing a... Uh... Who knows the dude? Who is this guy? Can I play what? We can't see his I'm face. Sure. I need some guitar lessons from him. Oh, can we get some? Can you tell the dude I want some... Not just guitar lessons. I want some live lessons from this guy. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me, please, God. All right, now, before this video gets too epic... Oh, Herman's got a nice smile, though. Good on you, dude. You're also a shredder, but you also got a nice smile and a good personality. Much love for Dragon Force. I got a shout out today. Right, right. No, no, I, I need some guitar lessons and live lesson from this guy, how to be cool. 
He's able to play a Dragon Force solo and make girls smile. Look at the smile on those girls. Because he knows, he knows the reality is on those shows, there's, there's probably thousands and thousands of people, but you can see the audience. I mean, even with the lights, you can see pretty deep into the audience. And he can tell that, oh, there's all these uh, couples and there's these groups of people where the guys are going crazy and the girls are like, yeah, yeah, that's pretty, that's, yeah, that's pretty good, right? And really what the girls are doing is they're like looking and they're like, that's pretty, you know, this is why you brought me here, right? Because like it's pretty dope, isn't it? Is this not dope? Is this not the dope part? Like let me know if this is not the dope part because like I'll just, I won't, I won't be excited. Did you just, when the dope part happens, throw your hands up really big, then I know the dope part is also happening, and I will throw my hands up, and then we'll all be in this together. And you can see that shit from the stage. You can 100% see the people who are, like, on the phone or whatever. Now, the biggest venues I've played are small, probably 2,000 people. Which is, you know, that's actually, that's like, those are like clubs. Like, that's the biggest thing. I've never done 10,000 people, 50, I've never, never done it. But I'm telling you, even with 2,000 people, if the lights are right, you can see like way back, way back. You can see like 500 people deep, 600 people deep, and you can see exactly what they're doing. And they, they feel like, oh, I'm in a crowd. You know, no one knows. It's like, I know, I can see, I see what you're doing face that is classic everyone message to do tell him i want a live guitar lesson with him on stream no that was fun and i like herman this is i think the cool thing about reaction stuff um well not for me maybe because like i you know pretty much the only thing you see me do is reactions which is intentional it's 100% intentional. There's a reason why there's not a thousand guitar videos, but that's another conversation for another day. Is that when you see someone like Herman Lee reacting, you get another um, fucking A, whiskey, shit. Uh, you get another dimension of their personality away from their stage presence or away from just how they are when they're playing their instrument. And we kind of all go into a zone when we play whatever that means to you, there's like, you become, and this is not fancy. This is not fancy like, I become a character. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that like, when you're so focused on playing your instrument and being part of a group, the way you act is very different than when you are not doing that. You know, some people like stick out their tongue. That's why there's mirrors in practice rooms. Some people like play shit, and their tongue just like sticks out. It's like, bro, your, your tongue's out. Like that's why there's a mirror in the practice room so you can look up and see that. But yeah, this is my first time actually seeing Herman Lee just like talking and chilling with uh, us and with people. And I... that's why I started the fucking channel. I can't say it on every video. I only say it like once every, you know, couple hundred videos, but I was watching. I, this is okay, look. I didn't go, how do I make a cool like YouTube channel? I'm gonna make a reaction channel. It seems like that might be what you would do because you would just look at the people that have like reactions and you, you do that. No, no, no. I was watching shit loads of reactions. I was watching, I, not, I mean, to me shit loads would be like three hours a day. I was watching three hours of reactions a day, like every day for about 10 days, a week, some, somewhere in there. And then I went, hey guy, you're watching, I'm talking to myself at this point. I'm like, hey, hey guy, you're watching, like you watched 30 hours of reaction videos this week. You should make reaction videos. That's kind of how, how it happened. So like, I get super excited and fanboyish when I see other people reacting to stuff because like, I love, I when it's done, you know, a way that I like, I fucking love it. I think it's fucking great. Oh, this just in. What? What are they telling me? Yeah. No, I know. 
Turns out that whiskey fucking works. And I'm intoxicated. Who you gonna tell? Cause this happened in the past, bro. You wanna like call the cops now? It's too late. I don't think you can call the cops on whiskey cause like I'm like 72 so I don't, it's like not an age thing. It's called a video. I'm just talking, we're just, you know, sometimes things go off the rails and let's disappear. And let's count to three. One, 